God sent the angel Gabriel to a town called Nazareth with, a, with an important message for a girl called Mary. Don't be afraid, Mary. God's blessing is with you. You're going to have a baby and you're going to give him the name Jesus. Mary was engaged to Joseph, but she wasn't married yet, so she asked, how is this going to happen? Gabriel replied, God's spirit will overshadow you and so your child will be the son of God. When Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant, he was very sad. He, he knew he was not the father and he decided that the marriage could not go ahead. But an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Do not be afraid to marry Mary. The child she is carrying is from Almighty God. She will give birth to a son and you will give him the name Jesus because he will save people from their sins. All this is foretold long ago by the prophet Isaiah. A virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The Roman Emperor, Augustus, decided it was time for a census. Everyone was ordered to travel to the town their family came from to be counted. So Mary and Joseph had to travel 70 miles to Bethlehem, even though it was almost time for the baby to be born. There was no room for them at the inn, so there, miles from home, Mary had her baby and wrapped him up and laid him in a manger, an animal's trough for a bed. Nearby, shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks by night. Suddenly, an angel appeared. The shepherds were very frightened. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I bring good news to you and all the world. Today in David's town, the Saviour has been born, and this is a sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped up and lying in a manger. Then hundreds of angels appeared. Glory to God in the highest place on earth. The shepherds said, let's go see for ourselves. So they hurried off and when they arrived, they found Mary and Joseph and the child who was lying in a manger. When they had seen Jesus, the shepherds told their story to everyone they met and all who heard it were amazed. Sometime later, the wise men came from far away. They arrived at Jerusalem and asked to see the new king. Israel already had a king, bad King Herod. Herod pretended he wanted to see the new king too, but secretly he was trying to get rid of Jesus. The star that the wise men had seen in the east guided them to where Jesus was. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and the wise men bowed down to him and worshipped Jesus. Mary thought carefully about the meaning of these events and treasured up all these happenings deep in her heart.